see you there. <laughs> Welcome to the RV tour. Welcome to my RV that we just bought. She is a 1994 Gulfstream Ultra. At first we thought she might be a little too old, but she runs so good. So no worries there, but she's long, she's cute. Um, I'm still shook that she's here, but let's go inside. Come on in. So we'll start at the front. So at the front, you've got the classic bed over the driver's seat. You know, she's big, she's got lots of space. And then we have three windows. This one's gonna need to be replaced, but for now, this is the situation. Got a little privacy curtain that gets <laughs> well. Do the other one, do the other one. <laughs> Bam! Boom. Great. We've got a TV that can swivel to, uh, so you can watch it in bed. Got a DVD player, you know, that ancient piece of machinery right there. <laughs> A vibe. <laughs> the cab is pretty nice, pretty comfy. My favorite part is the windows. Got a nice, <laughs> nice <laughs> manual window right there. Oh. Uh, but this steering wheel moves, and if you're a little too tall, then this back panel can can knock down, and then this can lean back, which is really cool. Not that I will be too tall, but you know, <laughs> great to have the option. Then we've got the little dinette area, super spacious, and have this this blue fabric. Yeah, it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, another fun thing we found out today is that this wood, look like down here, it's all stickers. <gasps> no. And there is other wood <gasps> <laughs> under. The sticker wood. I, I just just <laughs> want to know why. Um. So now we just gotta get to peel off all of this this wood stickers. Uh, but anyways, we've got lots of storage. We've got this ugly ass coffee maker here. However, we're gonna give it a go tomorrow morning and see if it works well. Cause if it does, like, we'll keep it there. But if it doesn't, we'll just take it out. But yay, morning coffee. Then we have this little lamp that I don't believe was in the original. They just added it for some spice in their life, which I understand. Um, the ugliest um, paper towel roll dispenser to ever exist. Maybe not ever. It's pretty ugly. But our kitchen is nice. Previous owners put in some peel and stick tiles which I think look pretty nice but my mom says she doesn't like them really? yeah so we might we might not keep them then they got the microwave but like the door is a little broken but it's fine Ooh. the microwave oven we think kind of kind of fun and then the stove top which you light with a lighter there's three burners we're just gonna we're just gonna stick to that. And an oven, which is really small, so we gotta. It should be interesting finding pans for it. Nice little sink area. We love a double sink moment uh, because who knows how many how difficult it's gonna be washing dishes on the road. Got lots of storage everywhere, which is awesome. So we've got the fridge, and she's actually quite spacious. Got lots of lots of space in there. I'm. This is the biggest fridge I've ever owned, uh, coming from a dorm experience. So I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, then we have the shower, which actually has like a skylight in it. And although it's a step up, like I've still got a good, like there's a good amount of space. You've got a little handheld guy, which is really awesome. Um, this, this gross looking dispenser, gross, but it gets the job done. Like, 
Um, really confused as to why like there's wallpaper in the bathroom that gets wet. <laughs> but it's fine. So then we got the other side of the bathroom. The only the thing I really don't understand is why they put carpet around the <laughs> toilet. Like that was a choice. Um still thinking about it. Yeah, weird. But lots of great mirrors in this place. Got a lot of a lot of space. This actually has a lot of storage in this bathroom, which I was surprised about. And there's a little fan up there if you need to air stuff out. Um, and the great part about this bathroom area is you've got you've got a little accordion wall right here, right? So you can block off the like master bedroom and the bathroom. But if you just want to block off the bathroom, so you like so you like leave this door open and have a full bathroom, you just open this one too, which I think is pretty great. Then we have the the big bedroom, the master bedroom. Um, what we really like is our speakers right here, so you can play the radio up front and lay down right here and you hear it so well and it's so cool. I really like this window, she's my fave, got shades, ugly shades on all of them. Uh, I don't know why there's so much, much upholstery, like, I don't know why, like, anyways, I have no other words for that. We've got two uh, closets in this space. There's a smaller one over here, which is really great. Um, and then there's a bigger one over there, but every time you open it, it like, the doors, it gets a little stuck. But that's an easy fix. And then the great part is this storage. Don't mind the ugly ass rug. <laughs> Poop stain. <laughs> yeah, it's rust apparently. And then we also have this TV here, which is really cool. The owners made it so that you can take the TV off and then plug it in over there and use it as an outside TV, which is really, really awesome. I don't know if we'll do it a lot, but it's a cool option. No. -uh. Lots of cabinets everywhere. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say. This is her. We think she's gonna be named Mabel, but it's still up in the air. Cause then we can call her like the Maves Mobile <laughs> or like Maybe Baby. I think there's a lot of fun options. Cause she's an old fashioned girl, but she's still cute, you know? If you have any name suggestions, leave them below. <laughs> but yeah, this is her. She's super cute. And this is her before, because now my mom, probably starting, maybe even tonight, is just gonna attack her and make her look so beautiful. We're getting a pink couch, stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm excited. Oh, wait, let me do a cool, wait, ready, ready? I'm gonna back out and oh. you wave. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Right. Take it easy. <laughs> Give us a fit, Take a it. fit check. Um, this is actually the outfit. Don't look at the shoes, but this is the outfit I wore on the last day of senior year when I didn't know it was last day because of Corona. Ding. <laughs> okay. This is his home now. <laughs> Why are you shaking? He's probably so chilly. It's a it is it is cold out. Oh, wait, am I not allowed to swear? Ooh, ooh. Is this how you're gonna get hillbillies on the road? <laughs> hey there, Johnny Ball. Nope, nope. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. No, the radio is pretty good. Let's see. Let's see what's playing. Is that the right key? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is a good idea. <laughs> These are pretty deep, but also like random. <laughs> <laughs> um, is this this is a look with my little <laughs> a little cute shower moment? I was talking to Ronnie. Well, Ronnie said um, if we ever get mad at each other and we want to slam the door, like you can't really do that with this. Like you have to take the moment to unbutton 
and then you slam it shut, but then like you have to like make sure it gets in the little lock. So it's like um <laughs> Okay, we couldn't we couldn't do that dramatic slamming um fight. But we yeah, should um, Hey ah. <laughs> This is the other closet, if you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> the light always goes on, which means that if we don't close it all the way when we leave, that we will drain ba the battery because mm. there's one stupid light. <laughs> so we might get rid of it. But it's spacious. Like, I'm pretty sure I can fit in here. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, there she goes. <gasps> get out. 